In our previous videos, we explored a few solutions for your data storage and management needs using the flexible and innovative NoSQL language, like Amazon DynamoDB. We specify the amounts of reads and writes, consistent single digit latencies. What DynamoDB is, is a non-relational database for applications that need performance at any scale. Now that sounds good at all, but let's talk about the main features of DynamoDB. Number one, it is fast. Consistent responsiveness, single digit millisecond. Super quick, that's awesome. We also have Google Cloud Data Store, operational simplicity, built-in transactional support, and superior experience running container technologies. Google Cloud offers another service called Data Store. Now Data Store is a highly scalable NoSQL database for your web and mobile applications. Very much like a DynamoDB database on AWS and Blob Storage for Azure. So let's have a look at Google Cloud Data Store in a bit more detail. Now it's simple and integrated. It provides a RESTful interface which data can be easily accessed by any deployment target. You can build solutions that span across App Engine and Compute Engine. Now let's look at Microsoft's take on the DB market with Cosmos DB. Global distribution meets horizontal scaling. Let's begin with one of Cosmos DB's features around turnkey global distribution. Data replication happens globally for fast, responsible access. We also have multi-homing APIs that ensure your application can operate against logical endpoints, meaning requests to your data are routed according to regions, even if there are failovers. And by all this, we gain 99.999% high availability. And this is all provided in the SLA from Microsoft, so it is guaranteed. Cosmos DB is super flexible. You have the ability to set your data model according to requirements, meaning we can even choose a key value store pattern. We can either choose a graph style database. We can even choose a column family style database where the data is organized into rows and columns. We even have the ability to just have a complete document database. So like any NoSQL document DB. No matter what model we choose, our data is automatically indexed. We also have the ability to set our framework according to the data, so we might choose to select MongoDB, Cassandra, Table, SQL APIs. They can be used to access our data accordingly, depending on the framework you choose. And we can't forget about its limitless elastic scalability, meaning we only pay for what we need. So your service will scale independently whether it might be storage requirements, throughput requirements or replication requirements on different geographical regions. The service will run serverless, meaning it will scale based upon your needs. Cosmos allows you to even select your consistency. So you could select strong, bounded staleness, consistent prefix, session, even eventual consistency. Because of the intuitive programming model, it gives developers the ability to reach low latency and high availability. Moving on to latency now. We are guaranteed a low latency. Less than 10 milliseconds for reads and less than 15 milliseconds for writes at the 99th percentile. Cosmos DB offers service level agreements. They are the first and only to offer industry leading comprehensive SLAs at enterprise grade security and compliance. Cosmos offers security with encryption and is applied automatically for both new and existing customers in all Azure regions. Let's talk about ubiquitous regional presence. The foundational service of Cosmos DB means our applications are highly available. We build, deploy and manage our applications globally. This means we have a global footprint across 50 plus geographical regions, and it's continuously growing. Because of the policy-based geofencing, we can ensure data governance and compliance restrictions. This includes sovereign cloud through China and Germany, and the requirements around the taxation boundaries of Australia. What we provide 
underneath using all this infrastructure, all the services that we've built is a turnkey global distribution. That is, you can come to Azure portal, deploy your data, and within a click of a button, de distribute it across the globe to all 42 regions if you want, uh, or just to one or two, uh, depending on how many regions you need to cover for your users. Why this is important is because users can be anywhere, and uh, in order for them to get the lowest latency and the highest throughput, you need to deploy the data near wherever the users are, right? And uh, Cosmos DB provides you that capability. Uh, essentially, all of your data can be made globally distributed or it can be uh, simply hosted in one particular region. Moving on now, let's talk about the multiple APIs provided by Cosmos DB. Cosmos DB is a programmer-focused service, so it supports a peerless variety of programming interfaces. The service supports multiple APIs, such as SQL and JavaScript APIs, even native API support for MongoDB, and there are no code changes. It also supports Apache Cassandra as a service, so we can actually build applications with these SDKs and tools. It also supports APIs for Gremlin, Graph APIs, and globally distributed graph queries, Azure Table Storage APIs. We also have Apache Spark, with real-time machine learning, use the Spark connector to issue Apache Spark queries. Let's not forget about the limitless Elastic Scale. We have seamless scaling thanks to the NoSQL language. Now when we look at a relational database, we use SQL, Structured Query Language, usually for traditional type of database offers higher consistency and reliability, which is optimal for very complex datasets. This is all mentioned in our previous videos, so this NoSQL service is very much the same. A NoSQL database, or a non-relational database, allows for more flexibility in the database structure. So Google Cloud Database, DynamoDB, Azure Blob Storage have limitless scalability by adding shards. This is what we call horizontal scaling on a database. You replicate the schema and divide what data is stored in each shard based on a key. Moving on now to partitioning. The number of partitions determined on storage size and throughput provision for a container. A physical partition is a fixed amount of reserved SSD backed storage, plus a variable amount of compute resources such as CPU and memory. We also have a logical partition, all the data associated with a single partition key value. With Azure Cosmos DB, we can easily partition our data. When we're creating a collection, we can configure a partition key property. And this is the JSON property or path within our documents that can be used by Cosmos DB to distribute data among multiple partitions. And how this works behind the scenes is that Cosmos DB will hash the partition key value and use the hashed result to determine the partition in which the JSON document will be stored. And all documents with the same partition key will be stored in the same partition. Consistency guarantees. Cosmos DB provides a strong consistency model in the gold standard of data programmability but comes at a price. High latency in steady state and reduced availability in the face of failures. Because of this, Cosmos DB offers a set of consistency options tailored for each user needs. 100% of read requests guaranteed within the model specified to you. Let's draw a table and have a look at each one closely. We have five different consistency models. Linearizable, monotonic read, consistent prefix, staleness bound, and read your own write. The linearizable consistency model is the only one that provides strong consistency. This means we are guaranteed to return the latest version of an item. The monotonic read, consistent prefix and staleness bound options all provide a consistent prefix model, meaning reads lag behind writes by at most the number of prefixes or the number of intervals. Our monotonic read, consistent prefix and read your own write models provide a session capability meaning monotonic reads, monotonic writes, read your writes, and writes follow reads. Finally, the consistent prefix model means updates returned are prefixed by some of all the updates, with no gaps. And let's not forget the SLA, which provides 100% guarantee across all these specifications. 
So we have learnt a lot so far, but let's have a look at what Cosmos DB is best for. We use Cosmos DB for globally distributed mission critical applications. Serverless apps, even Internet of Things, accommodate diverse and unpredictable IoT workloads without sacrificing ingestion or query performance. We can look at the retail and commerce space, in-depth queries over diverse product catalogs, traffic spites, and rapidly changing inventory. And finally, we have gaming. It's best to accommodate unpredictable bursts of traffic and deliver low latency multiplayer experiences. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further videos. Thank you.